hopefully this works now. Have some of my magic drink that will make me better. Kind of a new idea and format for the channel. So comment if you think it's useful, you enjoy it. Don't forget to shoot that like button. It's always really important. I find my videos are getting very produced and edited and it's taking a lot of time. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to make these move quick so I can get them out to you guys quicker. I love making the travel videos. They're definitely the highlight, but I want to be very reactive as well and make content that can be current and valuable to you guys. I have my laptop here with the official 007 site. So we're just gonna go through some news, talk very quickly about it. Out the gate, Billie Eilish won the Oscar. Congratulations to her. It's three in a row for the series now. There's some sort of Oscar lobbying group going. It's working well, especially for the songs. So Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas won an Oscar at the 94th Academy Awards. Probably the most eventful thing that happened that night. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Wow, dude. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your... Irish tanked Hans Zimmer. Hans himself actually picked up an Oscar. You know my thoughts from other videos, but that score definitely worked in the film. And it was a strength any time they pulled on that Billie Eilish sound. Fair play to Phineas the brother. Thank the parents. Apparently No Time To Die is the most streamed Bond song ever. One billion global streams. Which I know people thought Billie Eilish was a strange choice for the song, but clearly it paid off. That younger generation, the music streaming Spotify generation, were all in on this choice. And it shows with... Like songs like Live and Let Die, Goldfinger, You Know My Name, all beaten by Billie Eilish on the streaming charts. So that could only have been an asset for the movie and probably would have worked better if the film didn't delay so much. And it really is nice for them as a group and shows the success of this combination when it came to Phineas, Billie Eilish, Hans Zimmer and No Time To Die. The duo, Billie and her brother, won a Grammy, Golden Globe, Critics' Choice and Society of Composer Lyricist Award for No Time To Die and an Oscar. It's a good run. In my opinion, when it comes to Bond 26, this will probably lead to a contemporary choice like that once again. That or they just go back to Billy. Now to the big news. It's probably a little bit concerning to be honest with you, but let's go for it. Recently, it was announced that Eon are partnering with Amazon Prime to make a show called 007's Road to a Million. Just pulling straight from the site, it's a James Bond inspired unscripted adventure series greenlit by Prime Video. And what I'll do is I'll just pull through the information again from the site and the official announcement and give you my thoughts. Prime Video has greenlit the James Bond television format 007's Road to a Million the UK Amazon original series will be produced by 72 films in collaboration with the legendary James Bond producers Michael G. Wilson, <laughs> Michael G. Wilson and Barbara Broccoli and MGM Television. 007's Road to a Million will join the thousands of TV shows and movies in the Prime Video catalogue. Just so we know exactly what the show is, it's probably like one of those game show adventure shows I don't really watch that stuff, but I'm trying to find the right example to pull on. But I suppose we all know those shows where contestants are told to get from A to B, do something adventurous, sort of like go from London to Scotland and whatever. Harrier jump jet. I don't know. <laughs> Wear a tuxedo while you do it. That'll probably be the gimmick of the show. They might have actors appear in it to give them their challenges or they might be using the official music. Or on top of that, they make them wear a tuxedo ball gown while they do the tasks. Let's see what they officially say is the platform. 007's Road to a Million will see contestants competing in a global adventure to win the ultimate prize of £1 million. Filmed in many of the historic locations featured throughout the seminal Bond films, the cinematic format will... Tr 
will be a true test of intelligence and endurance. Reality TV. <laughs> Hard press for intelligence, maybe. In addition to conquering physical obstacles, the contestants who will compete in two-person teams must answer questions hidden in different locations around the world to advance to the next challenge. Filming will start this year and the new series will launch exclusively on Prime for over 240 countries. And there's a link below to enter. Hmm. Yeah, so... I had someone reach out to me and ask, how are you, James? Uh, what I thought of this. And I thought I'll watch with curiosity and interest, but I'm not excited for this. I remarked that if you go through this 007 site, you definitely see more engagement with the merchandising and the branding. Maybe that younger generation coming through. And what makes me concerned is the Amazon Prime and Amazon as a company putting pressure on MGM and Eon to produce more and more Bond content. It seems like the films are only going to be produced every three, five years, whatever. And they're not budging on that. So what they're going to do is pull Bond content from ventures like this. What does it mean? What is the lesser of two evils here is what I would be wondering and considering. Do we want the series to be every single year and get Star Warsified? If that's a word, it should be. Because we all know what kind of happened to that Star Wars series. Or now that Bond is part of this large conglomerate, do they make these concessions and hold on to the creative reins of the series. I personally believe the longer Bond stays within Eon and that family, the better it'll be for the series. Obviously, I'm gonna end up watching this. I watch and participate in everything to do with Bond. But I will be curious, very skeptical, and I possibly will think it's very cringy. It sounds like in my limited experience of these types of shows, I'm a celebrity with a globe trotting aspect. So let me know what you think of this. Is this just a way of creating more cash flow for Eon while they slowly go about recasting Bond, restarting the series after the Craig era? Will you watch this? What do you think of this idea and this series? It is easy to go, there's a Bond drought, so I'll take anything. But you just don't want to tarnish or diminish the brand of Bond. Maybe this is smart because it's so abstract from what James Bond is. It'll just be seen as a fun thing and won't affect the Bond series and that quality, like what's happened to Star Wars in the years. And that was my quick taking on the news of Bond right now. I want to do this new format where I have the news open, I read it out, chat to the camera, and hopefully I can create these way more consistently than my other videos, and it will fill in those gaps, because I do feel like there's a gap in the content at the moment. So if you like this, shoot the like button, subscribe. Alan Carroll will return.